is Kulkarni here. Let's continue to learn more about limiting reactant calculations. So here's an example in which hydrogen is mixed up with oxygen to produce water. A very very simple reaction and this is the balanced reaction here for us. Now what else is given to us? We are beginning with different quantities of the reactants. Let's write that down for hydrogen 15 grams and for oxygen 14 grams. And we need to find out what is a theoretical yield. In a way we are going to find out which is the limiting reactor because the yield which you get from limiting reactant is the theoretical yield or is the maximum yield. So let's begin. How do we find out a limiting reactor? Each reactant we check it to the product and we find out how much amount of product we can make. The one which makes least amount of product is going to be our limiting reactant and also that will be our theoretical yield. So let's begin first of all with hydrogen. Okay? If we are beginning with 15 grams of hydrogen and our target is going to water molecules, we go from grams to moles of hydrogen. From there we go to mole bridge, moles to moles. We go to moles of water and we go to grams of water. And when we complete all of this road map and fill that in, we will be able to get the answer. Remember, diagonally across, we are simply writing down the same values. Well, when is mole to gram? Mole is number one. And molar mass for hydrogen, remember, it's diatomic. So it's 2.02. This is the mole ratio. And how do we find mole ratio? Look at the coefficients. We have 2 and 2 are coefficients for both H2 and water. And when it's moles, moles to grams for water, it is 1 mole and 18.02 grams for water. When we solve all of this, the answer is simply 133.8 grams of water. Okay, let's do same thing with oxygen and let's figure out which one gives you the smallest answer. So your beginning point now is 40.0 grams of oxygen. Look again, you go from grams to moles. From moles of oxygen we go to moles of water and then from moles of water you go to grams of water and we are cancelling our units here and then we are going to plug the values and let's see what we get. Okay, mole to gram ratio, mole is number one. This is the molar mass for oxygen. It's diatomic so it's 32 grams. This is the mole ratio for oxygen and water. There is no coefficient for oxygen which means it is 1 and for water it is 2. So we got 2 there. Again this is moles to gram. So 1 mole and the molar mass is 18.02 for water. Alrighty. Then we cancel the units and when you multiply what do we get? We get 45.05 grams. So look at both answers. Out of these two answers, obviously you can tell this answer 45.05 is the smallest, the least answer. What does that make? That makes the beginning point which we had, oxygen, that is our limiting reactant. Not only that, it also tells you the theoretical yield is 45.05. Gram. So that's our theoretical yield. Okay. Let's answer the many questions. So over here we have to find out what is limiting reactant? Well, we found out that that was oxygen. And how do you know that? The yield 
from oxygen was smallest. So J is smallest. Oops, J is the smallest number there. And how many grams of limiting reactant are left over? Limiting reactant is the one which will all get used up. So what's remaining? None. Okay, zip, zero. No remaining there. And then how many grams of excess reactant is left over? For that, we are going to go back to our reaction again. So that's our balanced reaction. And now we know oxygen, which was 40 grams, is going to be used up. That's a limiting reactant. So let's find out how much hydrogen it needs to form the correct amount of water. So our roadmap now begins from oxygen and it's going to end up with hydrogen amount. So grams to we go to moles then there is mole to mole roadmap. We go to moles of H2 and from there we go to oops I'm sorry then we go to grams of hydrogen. We cancel the units by writing exactly same things diagonally across and when it's moles to gram mole is one gram is molar mass and this is diatomic so we got 32 this is mole mole ratio and we have two and one there so there we go and this is now moles of uh, hydrogen one and the molar mass for hydrogen for diatomic it's 2.02 .02. When you multiply that, we get the answer 5.05 grams. Well, how much we had before? We had 15 grams of hydrogen before. Out of that, 5.05 got used up. So how much is remaining? Simply, it is subtraction. And that gives you the answer 9.95 grams of the excess hydrogen remaining. Okay, there is one more thing to complete and that is the percent yield. So, if we do the reaction in real life, which they did here, actually water collected was only 43 grams. So, we have to find out the percent yield of this reaction. Let's go back to our very first uh, theoretical yield. The theoretical yield which we obtained by finding out that oxygen was the limiting reactant was how much? That was 45.05 grams. And how much is the actual one? Actual yield is 43 grams. What is the formula for percent yield? It is actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. So that is 43.00 divided by 45.05 and that times 100. And what do we get? We end up having 95.45% yield. Okay? So look at this. We completely solve all the required essential things for a basic limiting reactant problem. Don't you think it was easy? Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in next video. Bye-bye.